Hey guys, today we are going to discuss this problem. Its rating is 1800. So as always, we are going to start with the example here. So we have two examples for each example. We first have a um, string here and uh, we got uh, 26. Uh, numbers here. Uh, the numbers can be zero and one. What does that mean? So uh, for this string, um, this um, characters in this string uh, can be good or bad. And uh, uh, in this array, it uh, tells us uh, whether the character is good or bad. For example, um, uh, this array tells us that uh, A is bad because it's zero, B is good because it's one, C is bad because it's zero. So uh, this array will have exactly 26 numbers. And uh, if it is zero, that means it's uh, bad. Uh, if it is good, then it is uh, one, right? So uh, with that being said, um, we know that in this stream, some characters are good, some are bad, right? And uh, the goal for us is to find the number of substreams in this stream that uh, contains um, bad character that less than this number, one. So that means um, we can find a substring here. For example, ABA is a substring, right? And uh, it uh, contains two bad characters, right? Uh, it, because it has two A inside this uh, substring. So it has two bad characters. Um, so this substring is not what we want. Uh, uh, another example, AB is also a substream that, right? And it only has one um, bad character, which is A. So this one is what we want. Uh, it is a good substream. So how many good substreams uh, are there in this uh, stream? Um, the answer is five, right? So as we can see in the note, uh, the substreams are A, uh, which only have one bad character, and AB also have one bad character, B, zero uh, bad character, BA, one bad ca character, and BAB, one bad character, right? So the answer for the first uh, example is uh, five, five good substreams, right? And uh, let's take a look at the second example. So how many uh, good uh, substreams are there? So because we have a array like this, that means uh, all of the characters are bad characters. So um, what we need to do is find the substreams in this uh, stream that uh, the number of the substream, uh, the number of characters in this substream doesn't exist, uh, doesn't exceed uh, two, right? So we can have uh, A, 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 uh, we got the two letters in uh, this substream, two letters, one letter, two letter, one letter, two letter, two letter. So all of these uh, substreams have uh, less than two uh, letters. So they are all good substreams. So the answer is eight. So how do we uh, solve this problem? So, uh, the naive um, solution is that uh, we iterate all of 
uh, the su substreams of this stream, right? So we can have a, um, we have, we can have two uh, four loops, right? So the first four loop is the start of the substream. We can loop it through zero to uh, n, right? Actually, it's um, minus one, right? Uh, I is the start of the substream, and the J, uh, another for loop, uh, which is J, uh, loop from uh, loop from I to the last letter, which is uh, the uh, end of the substream, right? So in this way, we can have, um, we can iterate all of those uh, substreams uh, from I to J, right? And how can we check um, if a, a substream is a good substream? Uh, in this case, we can have a counter for each substring, right? Um, initially, the counter is zero. Uh, the counter is the counter of um, bad characters in the substring, right? Initially, it's zero. And uh, if the current uh, letter is a um, bad character, then we increase the uh, counter by one, right? So that uh, if the counter is bigger than the uh, number they um, gave us, then we um, break out of this loop, right? Um, so that's the way we uh, keep the counter of the um, bad characters. And um, the other question is that, uh, how do we make sure that uh, we don't count the same substring twice, right? Because uh, as we can see, uh, the substring AB appears twice here, right? It appears here, appears here, and appears here. So it actually appears three times here. So in the answer, we only count uh, these three uh, substreams as one because it, it, uh, they look the same. So um, in this case, we need to um, have a way to check the unique uh, substreams uh, in uh, all of those substreams. So how do we do that? we can keep a prefix tree, right? Um, a, what is a prefix tree? Uh, we, sometimes we also call it a trial, right? You can look, uh, look at uh, this um, data structure online. They have a lot of explanation. So in short, um, a trial is a tree like this. So uh, this stream uh, appear in a trial is, uh, let's say we have A, B, A, B, A, B here, and uh, the tri uh, prefix tree uh, or trial is like this, A, um, B, um, a, B, uh, let's make it simple, right? Don't make it too long. So A, B, A, B appears in the um, prefix trees like this, right? And uh, uh, what about, um, what about, um, so let me change a two here. 
So what about uh, A, B? So as we can see, if we want to check if A, B is already uh, in the set, we can just check if we have a A uh, as a root and the B as a ch uh, child, right? If we want to check if A, C is in the tree, we just need to check if A is the root and uh, C is a child. But in this case, uh, C is not a child of A. So that means A, C is not already in the, set, in the uh, tree, right? So if we want to check uh, A, B, A, in the tree, we just need to check if A is the root and the B is the child and the A is the, the other child. So in this case, A, B, A is already in the tree. So uh, essentially, um, prefix, tree, uh, prefix tree is a data structure um, can work as a set. So if you put A, B in the set, um, you will have a tree like uh, this. And uh, then you want to put A, B, A into the chat, uh, into the set, you will first check A and then check B, then check A, a is not there, so that means ABA is not in the tree. So we can insert ABA into the tree. Uh, to do that, we only need to create a new node here. And uh, now let's say we want to check BAB uh, is in the tree or not. So we just need to check uh, if there is a B as the root node is not a root, so we can insert it, B, and uh, check uh, A is a child of B. So now there is no A here, so we create a new node, and uh, then we create uh, another new node, which is A. Um, sorry about that. So in this case, we insert, sorry. It should be B. So uh, in this way, uh, we insert not, not only B, A, B into the tree, right? We also insert B, A into the tree and also insert B into the tree, right? So in this case, we, uh, this tree have all the uh, prefix we need for, uh, for this string. Right, so let's look at the code here. So uh, this is the input and uh, this uh, is our tree's head. Um, this head is the ultimate uh, root of the tree, right? It uh, doesn't uh, uh, mean any character, but uh, it's, uh, we uh, we can see that the direct child of the head is the first letter um, in um, of all the substreams, right? And uh, we uh, this is our first loop, which is the start of the uh, sub substream, and we count uh, keep the counter here, uh, which is the uh, counter of the bad characters in the string. And uh, P here uh, pointed to the head and it will um, search uh, for the next characters in the tree, right? P will uh, keep track uh, of the um, pointer in the tree, right? And uh, if it is a bad character, um, the counter will increase by one. And uh, if the counter uh, exceeds 
uh, k. That means uh, we don't want to uh, want that substring anymore because it is no longer a good substring. And uh, uh, otherwise, uh, we can increase the length um, of the substring, and uh, we can insert uh, that uh, substring um, into the tree by just uh, create a new node here, and uh, uh, we can move the pointer so that uh, the pointer always pointed to the current uh, substream in the tree, right? And uh, uh, if we um, create a new node here, that means we find a new good substream. Uh, that means we need to increase the answer by one. And in the end, we just need to output the answer. So I guess that's it for to solve this problem. Hope I can, uh, I did something helpful here. So see you next time.